Pocket Casts has been well known as a quality podcast app around the Android community for a while now. It's had a pretty good app, a useful widget, and overall has been nice to use. Well, very recently, the devs behind Pocket Casts released the latest update, version 4, and it's a huge one. The update overhauls the UI, adds new features, and turns what was, in my opinion, a good app into a great one. I'm here to show you guys the new features. Let's get going. So here we have it, the new Pocket Casts version 4. Right off the bat, the first thing you see is this nice hollow-ish UI, and so I say hollow-ish because it follows the normal Android design standards with that little like menu button up at the top there, and this slide-out panel over here. There are a couple other elements around the app as well. It also throws in some red accents, and it just overall looks really cool. And so this is kind of the main-ish screen of the app, it's your podcast screen. And so you can see I've got all these different subscribed podcasts, like 90 Seconds on the Verge, that's a video podcast. Um, Android Police, the Pocket Now Weekly, etc., etc. And so, if I just duck in here, you can see that this is kind of a list of all the podcasts in a particular feed or a particular from a particular source. And so, you can see right here that this one, the, fir the first one, I have downloaded and it's ready for playing. So, if I just hit play right there and I didn't have my sound muted, you would begin to hear the, the audio play. And so, it works just like that. You can see um, if I let this go for a little bit. Um, a blue bar would start to go around the circle to show you just how much you had left in that podcast. And so you can see the other, these other ones I have viewed already or I have played already and I have not downloaded them so they are all grayed out. That's just kind of how it works. You can mark everything in the in the playlist as, as played or you can share it and I think over here you can download all of them, sort the episodes, hide played episodes, or unsubscribe. And also down here you can see at the bottom of the app you have the little play pause for whatever podcast you were listening to. So if I swipe over here one, you can see that the next item down is Discover. If I go and Discover, we've got our Featured view, which gives us some featured podcasts. Since I'm all into technology, this is what a lot of, that's what is showing up here. We have Popular, which shows us all the popular podcasts. We have Top Video Podcasts, which hasn't been loading for me for some reason. Same with Networks and Categories, but I'm sure those will be filling in soon. Um, the next one down, we have, next thing down, we have our playlists, and this is really cool. I'm going to demonstrate this for a minute. Um, we have a, we can, so these are different playlists that I've created. It comes with some of them, but you can make your own new by using the new smart playlist feature. And so you can name it. I'm just going to use playlist one. You can choose an icon from a bunch of static icons they give you. And so basically, this is setting up for what kind of podcasts you want to show up in this place. It's a smart playlist, so it automatically put things in it. So if you want unplayed and partially played podcasts to show up in there, you have those checked. Let's just say I want played, unpartially played, or finished, partially played, and unplayed in there. So I'll hit OK. Podcast type audio and video, or I can set audio only or video only. And then podcasts, you can choose from different sources. So let's just say I only want 90 seconds on the verge and on the verge or just the pocket now weekly in this podcast. And so then, or in this playlist. And so then you can set download status. And so you could say that you only want to download podcasts in it. You could say you want downloaded and downloading podcasts in it. Or all three downloaded, downloading, and not downloaded. So let's just say I just want downloaded and downloading showing up here. Also, you can sort them from newest to oldest or oldest to newest. I guess you could do that if you want. I don't know why you wouldn't want the newest to oldest view. You can also have it set to only include starred podcasts, which can be useful if you just want to have a couple that you set to do. And also, a really cool feature is auto-download. And so that's really cool. Um, <laughs> let's see. The last time I tried this, it actually started downloading, but apparently it's not going to do that this time. So... Auto download will have it auto automatically start downloading the podcasts that any new podcasts that show up that fit the criteria that we programmed up here. You can have it set to only do it on Wi-Fi and only when charging. So that's a cool feature, especially if you don't want it just going haywire downloading all the time. And so let's just change the icon here. And so then let's just um, back out, and you can see that now we have playlist one right there. And see it has one play one episode in it because this episode has not been fully watched yet. And another cool thing is that as long as you sign in uh, to kind of to an account with your default Gmail address on any devices you might want to, it will sync with all three of with any of your devices that you choose. So if I just really quickly go back here and hit the sync button on the 10 inch tablet, you'll see in just a second that it should pop up that new playlist that we just made, playlist one. And so that's pretty useful. Um, you can see here that I have a downloading 
um, playlist, which just lets me see what's downloading. I have an offline one that shows me all the episodes I have set offline, which is really useful as well. We have unplayed, which are, which is, I mean, kind of self-explanatory. Any episodes that I have not played yet, and of course, the Pocket Now Weekly thing does not show up on here because I already started playing that episode. If I back out, you see I have shows, and I use this more on my tablets back there. Um, and as you can see, the UI on all three of these devices is pretty good. We've got a nice phone UI, a good 10-inch tablet UI, and a good 7-inch tablet UI as well. It's pretty well optimized for all three, so it uses that extra screen real estate in a way that you can see back there. And on the 10-inch, it's uh, on the 10-inch tablet, it always has this side panel open out there, so you can see that it utilizes the screen space pretty well. And so if I go down here to the bottom, we can hit a refresh button, which just syncs with our sources and maybe our podcasts as well. And so if we hit the settings button, you can see we have playback settings for like how far you want it to skip forward. When you hit the skip forward button or skip back button, you can see the video player orientation. If you want it to respond to headset controls and if you want it to show up on the lock screen. Also, you can see you can set one to refresh for new updates. I think I'm going to set it to every hour just because I don't want to check in super often. And also, you can say it, set it to warn you when not on Wi-Fi so that it doesn't go sucking up all your data. Um, and down here, we have notifications, which tells you which you can uh, have it set to notify you when new podcasts show up from your sources, which is pretty useful. We also have sync, which just lets you sync now, and then you can sign out from your account. Your account is really easy to configure. It basically just takes your default Gmail address that you have plugged into your Android device, and then you can just enter a password to go along with it. So it's really easy to set up, and it's not hard at all. You can also set where you want to store it, store it. so on the phone or a custom folder, which means you could set it up on an SD card if you so choose. You can, auto, you, have it, you can have it auto delete played files, or you can have it remove all downloaded files, and so that's good if you just want to uninstall the app. Don't want anything left over. Also, you can ex export your uh, podcast playlists in the, quote, super geeky but widely supported OPML format. And so that's kind of funny. I like that. Um, also, we have an about app, FAQ, help me. Those are probably just links to the web. And we also have Pocket Casts version 4.0.1. I believe actually 4.0.2 came out today. So, overall, I really have been enjoying this app. It's a great podcasting app. I've really, really liked it. I've been looking for, for a new one for a while now, and this one definitely fits the bill. I think you guys should check it out. I think it's like a buck in the Play Store, maybe $2, so it's totally worth it to me, at least. I think you guys will like it, so I thought I'd show it off. Thanks, guys, so much for watching. Please leave a like, leave the video a like if you enjoyed it, and feel free to subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see you guys all next time. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.